For RCR Wireless News and Enterprise IoT Insights, I'm Kyle Loda, here at European Utility Week with Lorenzo from Nordic Semiconductors. Lorenzo, thanks for spending time with us today. Thanks, Kyle. So, uh, Lorenzo, you all had a recent announcement this past year around your RF9160. Talk to us a little bit about that. Last year in December, we announced our RF9160, which is our first cellular IoT module supporting LTM, narrowband IoT, GPS, and with an integrated ARM Cortex M33 MCU. And now we are fully in production and we are getting carrier certifications such as Verizon, which is already done, and many other certifications are coming. So it's ready to be used for a variety of IoT applications. And so what chipset though is, is leveraged inside the RF9160? So the RF9160 is a system in package, and as a system in package we have integrated as many components as possible, such as power management or RF front end where we feature a high quality 23 dBm power amplifier, and also we have the chipset of course, and the chipset has been developed fully in-house by Nordic Semiconductor from scratch to minimize power consumption and naturally we have leveraged our experience in a uh, 2.4 gigas low power Bluetooth where we have a market leadership to make sure that this product is the best in the market for power consumption and for level integration. And so here at European Utility Week you all are showcasing several different applications. You know, talk to us a little bit about some of the different verticals and uh, what can be leveraged with the RF9160. Sure, the RF9160 can be used in a variety of IoT applications, such as street lighting or uh, smart parking and a smoke detector asset tracker. But here is, today we are also showing something which is very important for this show, which is a smart meter, how to connect a smart meter in a simple way. And the idea is that we can connect the RF9160 to any kind of meter. In this case, we have used a DLMS cosm meter. And we read the meter using an optical eye which is connected to the RF9160 interfaces. Thanks to the MCU, which is embedded on our chipset, we can read the meter and implement an MQT3 bridge to the cloud and use the modem, which is integrated in the same chipset. And then we can read all the information from the meter from any computer simply having a internet connectivity. Well, Lorenzo, thank you very much for your time and good luck the rest of the show. Thanks, Kai.